What's up everybody, Marvin Four here with another Great American Survival. Okay, so my neighbor's apparently gonna weed whack his yard. You might have to take a break and come back to this. What's up everybody, Marvin Four here with another Great American Survival. And in today's video, we're gonna be talking all about Lure Lock. Now Lure Lock makes these really cool tackle boxes. I'm gonna share with you. My neighbor's little girls are chasing each other. Um, this is the four in one. This is my swim baits box. All I keep in here is a bunch of swim baits. Very, very cool. Um, I'm going to take you guys inside and I'm going to show you guys what's in here and why I like it. So stick with us. This video is intended for all ages. All right, before I get started, I want to just tell you guys where you can pick these up. You can pick these up at Bass Pro Shop, Cabela's, Amazon, things like that. But if you go over there, make sure you let them know that you came from here. Click on the link down below and it'll send you over there. But we're going to get started. I had a lot of distractions, had a lot of things just making way much, way too much noise to do a video. And I just wanted to show you guys that, you know, nothing ever goes perfect. So stick with us. All right. So all the distractions aside, we are going to get going. Uh, this is the Lure Lock Utility Box. It's a, I think it's either called a three-in-one or four-in-one. This thing is amazing. It's a 3700 series size, but it's three of them stacked on top of each other where they have removable drawers. Now, if you never dealt with Lure Lock, Lure Lock uses this proprietary gel that keeps that rattle down. Now, this one, even though I don't have any of the dividers in here, it has dividers. So if you wanted to break this up and separate it for square bills or lipless, or jerk baits or whatever you wanted in if you wanted to take one of these and make it where one was one and one was something else your limit your options are really limitless just by your creativity uh, this is my swim bait box i've been throwing i love throwing away around big swim baits um, currently i have a big bull shad wake bait tied on my fishing rod that i'm going to be taking with me tomorrow but i wanted to show you guys exactly why now this there are many of my swim baits are just under $100 or just over $100. I mean, crazy amounts of money. All the way down from 12 inch bull shads to this is one of the original bull shad swim baits. This thing has been amazing. Um, as you see, this thing's worn out, got the paint knocked off, but it's caught hundreds of shad, uh, uh, shoal bass. Uh, we've got other ones from a lot of different companies, Six Cents, some amazing companies. Now, the only thing I ran into that I had an issue with, and I don't know, it's not anything wrong with it, but it, if you get this stuff dirty, you can wash it all off. But I ran into, I had this one, which I'm not, I don't think it's a mega bass. What is it? It is a boom boom is what it says on the eye. It's a boom boom through line, through body swim bait. And it stuck and it kind of melted uh, the bait still works but that was the only thing i ran into i haven't had any problems with any of the tails for any of mine that have removable or replaceable tails um i've never ran into an issue with any of those so as you see tray roll moves this one's got a little bit of a divider and that's you can break it up into more big big soft bodied swim baits segmented swim baits small bull sheds um got all kinds of great amazing baits to choose from um, and I really enjoyed it. It makes it where when you're fishing, here, let me hold on to that. There's no clatter, no rattle, no nothing. This one right here, I've got stuff stacked on top of itself, but these things are really, really nice. And I know why all these people started using them in bass boats. I'm in a kayak and I think these things are worth more to kayak fishermen than anything, especially if you're going to take your 3600s or 3700s, depending on what kind of kayak crate you're using. I have a Yak Attack Black Pack Pro, and it's the, I think it's 16 by 30, or 13, 16 by 13, so it's not a full, not the biggest one they make, so I can't put 37s in there at all, like all the time, but I can one way, but otherwise I'm generally running 3700s, or 3600s, and they stack vertically. That works out really, really well, especially if you're using these 3600s that they sell, it allows you to keep those baits just that little bit less noise. These things are loud. Um, tackle boxes are loud, especially when you're changing something out. You change out your bait and you want to get something else on the water. You're like, hey, he didn't bite that, but I caught a moving bait. I'm going to swap this out, throw the swim bait on here, or throw a crankbait or jerkbait, whatever you were looking at. 
being able to swap it out and not make so much noise when you're on the water that you scare your fish. So that's the biggest thing. Now, if you're in a bass boat and you're sitting here running with 12 of these 3700s, these things are priceless for you because you, those things are noisy on their own, let alone you got 12 boxes rattling around in the back. So I just wanted to share with you guys the amazing options that are available to you from Lure Lock. Like I said, this one comes in really, really handy. It does have segments where you can install it and the other one, they make one that's just like it, but it's one big compartment and it allows you to put big segments in here and you can stick your lures like this, straight up and down. Um, you can change out however you want. It works great. So I'll put a link down below to Lure Lock where you can check out their amazing products. And guys, I hope you guys are having a wonderful week. Hope you guys will go check us out. We're on social media. And if you're new to our channel, hit that subscribe button, join our community, be part of it. And whatever you do, take a moment to tell me down below, tell me if you like throwing swim baits and tell me what part of the country you're in. I'm here and I live just outside of Athens, Georgia. Go dogs. And I have to say it's a blessing. I'm very blessed to live where I live. Wonderful fishing opportunities all around this wonderful state, but I'm not limited to that. I go all over the, all over the state. I go all over the United States and fish and I have, but I'm just having a blast. Hope you guys like this video. Like I said, take time to comment. Tell me something about you. And guys, God bless each and every one of you. I hope you have a wonderful week. We'll talk to you guys soon.